Gauteng officials are trying to deal with the chaos at Johannesburg's Charlotte Matlaike Hospital. At least one union, the Democratic Nursing Organization of South Africa, is calling for Health Minister Aaron Motswaledi to step down. But Charlotte Matlaike is not the only health facility in crisis. The national government has taken over the Northwest Health Department, and Guazulu Natal is battling an oncology crisis. Should the minister be held accountable? To discuss this, we're joined now now by Amukelani Maluleke of the Treatment Action Campaign. And thank you so much for coming through for us there, Amukelani. So, I mean, how many sparrows does it take uh, for us to declare that uh, the, the, it's summer? Um, how many of these problems should we have before we reach a point where we say our health system is in crisis? Just before coming to air, there was a statement from the South African Human Rights Commission saying that they suspect that the uh, oncology services at Steve Beagle Academic Hospital are on the verge of collapse. Uh, workers are not being paid their bonuses in Gauteng. I can go on and on. Are we in crisis? Uh, thank you very much, Tulas. Uh, the first thing that we'd like to say as the treatment action campaign is to confirm that our health system in South Africa is on the verge of collapse. We have seen that through our branches in the seven provinces we're working in. We also then, on the very same note, call upon government to satisfy the needs of the workers. In the process of satisfying the needs of the workers, we're saying that the workers, when they go out and strike, they should not then in the process compromise the lives of the poor who are dependent on the public health care for the, for, 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 for the services. Of course, we have seen what happened in the Northwest. We have seen what is happening in Gauteng. Uh, the latest incident being uh, Charlotte, what happened yesterday. We are saying that when people are protesting for their own demands. Let us also think that there are people, millions and millions of people that depend on the public health care system for our service provision. We cannot really comment on the call of the minister to, 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 to be chuck of the system, but our call is to the minister himself with the embassies of health in the province to have control over the, 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 the policies of health that need to be implemented in the province. So, Amukelani, in, is... uh, in terms of what you're saying now, you're saying you're observing that um, our health system is on the brink of collapse, a very powerful statement uh, that you make there. And you're saying you're seeing it in seven of the country's provinces. Which ones are those? We're working, in, we're not only visible in the province of Northwest, which we started now based on the unrest that was happening, and also in, 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 the, in, the, in the Northern Cape. But we're working in all these provinces. The question to us might be, how did we identify that as TAC? We have developed 24 questionnaires that has to do with facility monitoring on the weekly basis using our branches in the provincial level. So we're identifying that there are a lot of challenges in, 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 in the primary health care as well as the hospital service where our hospital as we speak now remains the white elephant where people just go and sit the whole day and then there are people who that go to the hospital as early as five o'clock they come back out of the hospital as late as five o'clock and they are sitting in the opd in the hospital and they are not attended to the challenges we're identifying it with is the management system that is being employed in hospital does not cater for the poor they need to be a real we, government need to relook look into the whole process of managing the health system in provinces and attach that to the political links that exist to say uh, the minister need to have controls to and work together with the with, with, with the MECs so that they are able to challenge this using the policies that exist in the country we we are here have identified the following challenges we have of course in, in at the primary health care level people waiting there's a People are waiting at the first level for more than four hours to access services. If you are there just to, correct, to collect your treatment and you're supposed to move and go to work, it means that for that day you won't go to work or you just have to sit. And, and in some instances, you're waiting for that four hours just to be told that we do not have a medication at, 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 at the disposal. 
So that on its own suggests that our health system is on the verge of collapse and we really need to look into how possible can we upscale the, and, and resolve the challenges that exist today. Yeah, and just finally then, Amukelani, let me ask you directly now about this question around the amount of responsibility that the minister must shoulder. Um, of course, it's a devolved system in that it's not only administered at national level, but ultimately it is in coordination and he leads the coordination. And when you see situations arising and the explanation is that the minister was simply not aware, is that good enough for you? I know that he doesn't appoint the MECs and they don't report to him, but he's the coordinator of the system at the end. <laughs> Tell us on what happened in Charlotte yesterday, the reality is to, if common sense was common, the first person who was supposed to arrive at Charlotte yesterday was supposed to be MEC Gwen. And guess what? They arrived together with the minister, and the minister is the one that is talking about these issues. The issue of Charlotte Matrika is not the first time it exists. We have we had challenges at Charlotte in the previous uh, few, few weeks to go, a few, few months ago, which were related to service provision. So we are saying that there need to be a direct line of communication. We're not, of course, calling for the policy to, to be looked into something else. What we're calling is to say the minister, for, for people to be calling the head of the minister, they need to be the link between the MECs in the provinces and uh, the, the, the Minister of Health. The premiers need to take a lead into ensuring that the people who are leading the Department of Health in provinces are capable people and are people who have the interest of the poor at heart and they also need to respond to the struggles of, 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 of the workers. Uh, they should not really take time until where the workers barricade the road, render uh, uh, hospital uh, unbearable because of, of the challenges that they encounter on a daily basis. We're right. saying that they need to be a Those who are not executing their task according to what they are hired to do, they need to be held to account before we see a new life is demanding in all the facilities that are, yeah. are there in South Africa. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And that's really uh, that, that, made, that issue you mentioned of life is demanding being, of course, the worst um, extreme in terms of what can go wrong with our health system. That is Amukelani Maluleke of the Treatment Action Campaign uh, talking to us there about what he says is the situation uh, of the health system in the country being on the brink of collapse in his words.